during the summer, especially if I'm on vacation, I like to just get up and go and enjoy myself. I don't really want to spend a ton of time getting ready and doing my hair and all that stuff. So overnight curls for me are a must. So in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways that I get different waves and curls and I can just wake up and walk out the door and enjoy myself. Okay, so I have to start off with my hair being like really clean because if my hair is really dirty, then by like the second or third day, it won't even hold any curl. So I wash my hair with something really moisturizing first. This is my clear scalp and hair intense hydrating shampoo and conditioner and it's really hydrating. And then you can let your hair air dry or you can blow dry it if you don't want wet hair all day. And I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I'm using this blow dry balm and it's by Tresemme and it's called Get Sleek. And I like it because it helps protect my hair from any kind of blow drying heat and it leaves my hair really shiny. So I carry on with my day and then afterwards when I get home at night, here is one of the three hairstyles that I do all the time. I split my hair into two sections and then afterwards I start with one side and I start with the top section and I just kind of grab some hair, split it into two and then I twist. I'm not really a perfectionist because I'm going to bed after this. Um, but what I do after that is I just keep adding more hair from my head to each section as I twist. So I just keep twisting, adding more hair, twisting, adding more hair until all of my hair is totally twisted up into a pigtail like this. And then after my hair is in a pigtail, I want to pin it onto the top of my head. But what I do is I actually take one of these cotton pads like that you would wipe your, you know, tone your face with or whatever. And I put that on top of where I'm gonna put the bobby pin and then I bobby pin it. And this way, not only does the little twist not slip down while I'm sleeping, but I also don't have like that stupid little annoying dent, you know, the bobby pin dent in my hair the next morning. So I go ahead and do the other side, pin it up, do the exact same thing. And then afterwards I just go to bed. And then when I wake up the next morning, I just have like these, kind of loose cascading waves, I guess you can say. All right, this next one I'm gonna show you has literally like made my life just so much better. All you need is just napkins or paper towels that you can find anywhere you can be on vacation and you'll find these. And you can create like really pretty curls that almost look like you did it with a curling iron. So all you need is just to get a few strips of paper towel, depending on how thick your hair is or how much hair you have and then just take the paper towel like so and then go ahead and fold it and fold it and fold it until you have like this little strip of paper towel like that. And then what you wanna do is just go ahead and take a chunk of your hair and take the end of your hair and make sure it's nice and smooth and you wanna go ahead and just wrap it around the center of your paper towel and then afterwards, you just wanna take and just start to roll the rest of it upwards towards the root of your hair. And then just take the two ends of the paper towel and go ahead and just tie it into a little, a little paper towel knot like this. And then I just take a bobby pin so it's not all flopping around while I'm sleeping and I pin it down to like secure it onto my head. And I do that to all the rest of my hair. Um, I probably create like, I don't know, 10 or something. And then when I take my hair out the next day, it has like these awesome curls that looks like I you know used a curling wand or something. And then with these curls, once I unravel them all, since they're kind of stuck together to make them more like, you know, beachy looking, I guess you can say, I start to kind of like break them up with my fingers. And so I separate it and I make it into like a bunch of little curls. Then I take this shine spray and I kind of spray my hair as I scrunch it. And I do this, flip it upside down, shake it all around until it's just really PC and like beachy looking. And then for the final look, this uh, is a style that I do when I'm not trying to have a lot of wave the next day. I just want something to basically like preserve my blow dried hair, but it will leave like a slight wave. And so this is what I do. All I do is I take my hair and I put it into a really high ponytail at like the top of my head, like touching my forehead high, very attractive. And then afterwards I just take and I comb out my ponytail and then I just twist it like so. And then I pull it backwards and I take uh, my little cotton pad and I place it on top of it and then I bobby pin. And then when I take it out the next day, it's just like a really slight wave. But since I had the ponytail so high up on my head, there's like a lot of like volume to my hair. 
And those are the three ways that I preserve my hair so that I don't have to do anything the next day because I'm lazy. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any hair video requests, comment down below and I'll try to do as many as I can. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. All right, I love you, bye.